fellow Amazonians. Accept liberation greetings from me, Comrade John Bar Akuro. Today is a very special day in our liberation movement. For well over six years, we have toiled, we have faced and overcome challenges, and as a people, we have also been able to overcome even internal divisions in our midst to continue to trot our path towards freedom. Today is meant to be a special day, a very special and important day in the history of our liberation movement, of our quest for freedom, and our quest for absolute independence. My dear people of Amazonia, you are certainly aware that for some time now, delegations of the government of the Republic of Cameroon and the those of the former UN Trust Territory of British Southern Cameroons, aka Amazonia, have been meeting in Canada to chat away and explore to see if there is a possibility for the parties to begin and commit to a peace process. Today, the leaders of the various movements, groups, and organizations that were invited to Canada were expected to communicate with all our people. One thing I want to make clear here is there's so much talk on social media about what should have happened or should not have happened or what might have happened or has not happened in Canada. But the truth lies in the fact that the people of Amazonia know exactly what they want. The delegates who were picked from time to time to sit in Canada and talk on behalf of Amazonia continue to have at the back of their minds the policy orientations of our various groups, movements, and organizations under the overall liberation movement of Amazonia. And this is to say, we know that the only thing that the sovereign people of Amazonia expect from us is to deliver a free and prosperous country for Amazonians both born and those that are yet to be born. Today, therefore, we were expected to come out in unison, four of us, comrades Cho Ayaba, Ebenezer Akwanga, Daphne Yerima and myself, to exchange with the people of Amazonia on exactly what has been going on in Canada, the grounds covered, and the perspectives for all those discussions that took place there. They charge me today, therefore, to let each and every one of us know that the state of our liberation movement is strong. If there's ever been any time that the people of Ambazonia could be more hopeful about our prospects for total freedom, that time is now. My people of Ambazonia, a lot of things are moving so fast. The world is moving right now at lightning speed. And there are a lot of discussions in several quarters of the world about what is going on between La République du Cameroon and uh, Ambazonia. And therefore, informed by very new developments that emerged just hours before this very important communication, the leadership of this movement considered that it is important to carry our joint communication forward. This is because we have agreed that having worked very closely together, committed ourselves to each other, and agreed that after the storm comes good weather, that after a period marked by a lot of infighting, a lot of demagogy, 
a lot of division. The time has come for us to bury the hatchet and to close our ranks, work together solidly to ensure a free homeland for our people the fastest possible. Therefore, based on those new, very important and interesting positive development, the leadership decided to move this joint communication to somewhere in the course of the week, in the course of next week. We will be all here to exchange with our people, to explain to each and everyone exactly what has been going on in Canada and to give a perfect rendition of the efforts that have been put in this far to attain the result that we have attained. One thing that we insist on letting each and everyone know is that those who sat in Canada successively to talk on behalf of Amazonia were always aware that the will of the majority a crushing majority of Southern Cameroonians, of Amazonians, is for absolute independence. And therefore, the actions, the positions taken, and any form of agreement arrived at has generally been based on this understanding. I would like to invite each and every one of us to recognize that this is a very sensitive moment in our liberation movement. This is not a time for us to be tearing each other apart, casting aspersions, casting a pall on something that is still being worked out. Just so each and every one of us know, the people of Amazonia put up a very strong and united front in Canada from day one all the way to the end. That is a strong message. And we want to build on that momentum to let the people of Ambazonia know that the age of unilateralism in our liberation movement is over. That beginning 2023, we have come to understand and are determined that we have to work together because we will either get freedom as a collective people facing one objective and knowing that we have one destiny than allow ourselves to bunch up as fools divided and end up not delivering to the people of Amazonia what they expect of us. I'd like to reiterate that the state of our liberation movement is strong, very strong. The fundamentals have even never been stronger. We are all aware that because of the seeming calm on the ground, of course, some people have been quick to interpret, to say we are losing momentum. Don't forget, this will be about the fourth or the fifth time that people think in that way. This is simply because they are ignorant of the mode of operation of all those involved with this liberation movement, that we know the moments that our people need some respite. And of course, we always work in that light. So it is not therefore strange for the Republic to Cameroon to, at such moments, claim that they have been able to subdue the spirit of freedom within us. It is fair game, but each time they have said so, it just took days, in some cases just a few weeks, for them to be reminded of the ugly reality that Amazonia will only stop when we would have ejected from our territory the very last vestiges of La Republique du Cameroon's colonial presence and of course that all their occupational forces would have been kicked out of Amazonia. That is when and only when we will stop. So therefore, my people, accept fraternal salutations 
from comrades Akwanga, Ibeleza, Cho Ayaba, Dabni Yerima, through me. As I conclude this very brief communication, I want each and every one of us to note that no one of us is blinking and no one is going to blink. We know who we are up against. We know their modus operandi. We have a clear mastery of the tricks they have constantly played. We are not naive. Neither are we stupid. We are talking to the right people, making the right decisions, and doing all we can to move in the right direction. The direction we know a crushing majority of Amazonians desire. Thank you.